Well, Treasury Secretary Tim Geithner just presented Congress with three options, three long-term options to reform Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac and the nation's housing system. For more, uh, we're joined by the former Fannie Mae Chief Credit Officer Edward Pinto, who knows a lot about how to reform uh, these two organizations. Ed, what do you think Congress is ultimately going to go with? I think uh, Congress is going to take a, a long, hard look at uh, the administration's proposals. Uh, there isn't one proposal here, although there is an overarching uh, uh, theme, which is we need to return to prime lending as the core for uh, our lending uh, housing finance system, and it needs to be done by the private sector. Mm -hmm. uh, we had a massive case of what I would call grade inflation uh, in the housing sector. We took what used to be called prime or A loans, and we changed the standards and ended up with a, a massive uh, catastrophe that we're all familiar with. Right. The uh, administration actually presents a number of options. Uh, one of which is uh, one that I co-authored uh, for a private system. Mm -hmm. uh, they also have two other options that provide government guarantees to a greater and lesser extent. Um, there will be heated debate in Congress about those. Uh, of course, I uh, support and, and would recommend uh, the one that uh, brings the private sector uh, in as responsible for the uh, losses going forward uh, on mortgages and based on prime lending. Right. Uh, but that's going to be a heated debate. I think the other thing that's going to happen, and the administration provides a lot of food for thought here, um, there are many bits and pieces that Congress could undertake this year to start implementing a wind down of Fannie and Freddie, um, put them out of business over time in a measured way and a deliberate way and also start restoring the, uh, the strength of the market that we had historically had that we lost over the last 15 years. Well, what do you make of that timeline? I mean, Peter was just telling us that it will take about five years before this gets into legislative action. I mean, what about this timeline? Well, I, I think uh, it will take time. We've got a system that's 90 to 95 percent reliant on uh, the federal government, so it will take time. But I think the good news is uh, there are lots of suggestions here, and the administration's taking the first steps. Uh, two big steps that they're taking. Uh, one is that uh, uh, they're going to not oppose a, a lapse in the authority that keeps the Fannie and Freddie and FHA limits, for that matter, well over $700,000 in certain areas. Right. Um, that allows Fannie to finance loans that uh, roughly are a million dollars, and that just is crazy to be doing uh, on a government uh, credit card. And so I think that's a big step in the right direction. It's the first time this has happened uh, in uh, history uh, where we're starting to peel back yeah. Fannie and Freddie. Right. Uh, and, uh, and and given all of that, I want to, I mean, and, and knowing that, yes, there is reform, and as you mentioned, there are some short-term reforms and long-term reforms that the Treasury is talking about. Uh, but I want to talk a bit more about your own proposal, which is to bring private capital in, though. Um, how yes. do we know that private capital is going to reduce or eliminate the risks that we saw from government capital in the housing markets? Uh our proposal uh, has a very specific requirement. Rather than relying on government guarantees to bring investors back into the market, our proposal relies on prime lending, a fixed standard of a prime loan. That standard is one that was in place in uh, as recently as uh, 1991, uh, and it was thrown away uh, as a result of actions by Congress. Uh, we want uh, to go back to those standards. They're reasonable standards uh, and they're standards that can support, in my opinion, a uh, home ownership rate that's in the 64 to 66 percent range, hmm. which historically is where we've been as a country. Okay. Ed, thank you very much. I know